Hey, what's up? Welcome back. All right, lecture two in chapter 14, firms in a competitive market. Um, got a graph up on the board. Uh, this is very reminiscent to figure one in your reading. Um, there you go. Um, we're going to manipulate it a little bit to cover a few bases here. But um, basically what we're looking at here is a graphical representation of our table from lecture one. Um, we have a flat marginal revenue line that's there in green. Um, that's because we're in a competitive market and all the products are identical and no one has market power, so it's just flat. Um, in this chapter, hey, you know what? Be thankful. Uh, price, average revenue, and marginal revenue are all the same. Um, if you saw before, we deduced that every time they got a new sale, uh, and sold a new unit, they got six more bucks. Um, so that was their marginal revenue. It was also, hey, every time I sell one unit, I get six bucks. That's also your price. And then divide that by your quantity. That's also going to be your average revenue. Um, that's a little uh, intricacy that you're only going to see in competitive markets because all the products are the same. Um, what we have here then is our marginal cost, which we spent all last chapter uh, deriving. Um, so if you need to review those lectures, go back and do that as well um, in the cost chapter, chapter 13. And then we have our average total cost. Um, had a question about why do we need average total cost? You're gonna see that now. Uh, we have our average total cost curve. And then part of that average total cost curve then is also your average variable cost. So then the difference between the two would be average fixed cost. So um, we have all of our curves that we need here. Where do we operate? Right up there, okay, right up there. Marginal cost equals marginal revenue. That's where you wanna operate. So we're gonna operate right there. So at this price of six bucks, we're gonna operate where the marginal revenue curve, this flat line here, and again, in future chapters, is gonna be downward sloping. Um, flat line in a, in a competitive market. Um, crosses marginal cost right here. That's like supply and demand, man. That's our equilibrium. That's where we're gonna operate. This is the quantity of whatever product this is, milk, uh, bushels of wheat, whatever, that we're gonna produce. It's where the quantity is uh, where marginal is the quantity we're going to operate at because that's where marginal cost equals marginal revenue. Um, so in this instance, um, can we say, and this will help you on the homework, um, in this instance, can we say, hey, uh, are we making a profit here? Yeah, you can. Uh, because you, uh, in this graph, in this situation, can see, okay, if we're operating right here, okay, at this quantity, right there at that price, this whole box, this whole square right here, the way I've drawn it, this whole box, price times quantity, this height times that width, this box is total revenue, okay? So this whole box right here is total revenue, all right? Um, our, but that's not total cost and that's not profit. It's just revenue price times quantity. Price times quantity, and it's this box right here. All right? Um, so what is our total cost? Well, guess what? Our curve gives us that too. It's right there. There's our average total cost. So this smaller box, more of a rectangle, is going to be our, our total cost. So while this bigger one is our total revenue, this box right here, okay, that's our total cost. So this big box, total revenue, this smaller box, total cost, okay, now we can get profit. This box, bigger revenue, because remember profit equals total revenue minus total cost, and you can do that um, graphically speaking here. This big box minus that box is profit, and what does that leave? This right here. That's your profit, man. That's your profit. Okay? So this big box is your total revenue. This box right here is your total cost. Subtract the smaller one from the bigger one, and you hope be, the cost will be smaller than the bigger one. You get the difference, which is profit. All right? So a lot depends on where your marginal revenue and marginal costs intersect and where it is in relation to your average total cost. Um, so if you can keep your costs down, your revenues up, you can make more profit. All right. So when you're in the homework and it's like, Hey, drag this square or rectangle, wherever, drag it for total revenue to where marginal cost equals marginal revenue. All right. That'll be your corner. That'll be a dot. That'll be a dot. That'll be a dot. See that? Okay. And when you're looking for total cost, find where your, you know, your intersection of marginal cost and marginal revenue, drop it hopefully down to average total cost. If average total cost was above, 
it would be a loss, but we can, we can go over that here in a second. Um, you still put it to where this line intersects, where your, your quantity intersects with the average total cost. Put a, put a corner there, put a corner there, corner there, corner there. And then this difference right there, my friends, is profit. All right. Give me a second to reset the graph a little bit. I'm going to uh, retool this and just uh, uh, try, you know, hey, what if the uh, price was a little bit lower? Okay. Give me just a second. Hope you're enjoying these lectures. All right, I know I am. Feels so good to be lecturing again. I miss it. We have so much fun. All right, but we're doing everything we need to do for everybody's health. Okay. Need to reiterate this average total cost curve. Okay, redraw that. Um, that's where it intersects where marginal cost equals marginal revenue. Now, this is going to be number one. What if? Uh, for some reason, price dropped, and let's say it dropped to four dollars. Now that's my new marginal revenue. It's also average revenue. It's also price. Okay, and it's four bucks. Okay. Um, now our revenue has moved from this big box to that smaller box. Okay. Now, if you see here, all right. We now have to move where the marginal cost intersects, okay? We now have to move where the marginal cost intersects with marginal revenue. So we gotta, we gotta adjust the graph a little further. Always operate where marginal cost equals marginal revenue. Here's your marginal cost line. Now here's your marginal revenue. That's quantity two where marginal cost equals marginal revenue with a price of four bucks. Okay. Um, now, if we want to figure out revenue, we take price times quantity. Four dollars is your price. That's the height. Okay. So this by this, which is the quantity. So this box right here. All right. One, two, three, four. There's your corners. Okay. Put you put your revenues there. Is your total revenue so from here to here? Total revenue of this box. All right. Now. Where is average total cost? Well, let's look at that. Average total cost now is up here. So you would have to creep this line upwards. You come over there in this bigger box, okay, is your total cost. So corner there, all right, corner there, corner there. This big box is now your total cost. So now your total cost exceeds your total revenue. You're operating at a loss. Okay, you don't have a profit, you have a loss. All right, so your total cost then is up here, creep on up to that average total cost curve, put a dot right there, put your box in right here, that is your total cost. When you're looking for total revenue, again, marginal cost equals marginal revenue, um, put a dot right there from here to here, that's your total revenue, you're operating at a loss. Now, if you recall from the, the, uh, the cost chapter, I really emphasized and went into a little more detail. I'm trying to give you a preview ahead. Um, that when do we shut down? When do we shut down? All right. Now, in the long run, if you're losing money, you shut down no matter what. Okay. In the long run, if you can't make money, you shut down. Okay. But in the short run, okay. In the SR, the short run, you stay open if you are covering your variable costs. Okay? All right, that's the key. And if, if you need to review that last lecture I did in chapter 13, one of these YouTube live lectures, I went over and also go over in the PowerPoint lectures as well, uh, please do so. Um, in the short run, you stay open if you cover your variable costs. So in this situation, my variable costs are right there. Okay? They're right there. So my average variable costs are being covered. So if, you, if this whole box... Again, it's my total cost. If this whole box, the bigger box, is my total cost, all right? This guy right here is my total cost, all right? 
this much of it is variable cost. All right. That means this much of it is fixed cost. Why in the world would I stay open at a uh, loss? Well, let me tell you, my revenues are here. I'm paying for all of that. Okay. If I shut down, I have to pay all this fixed cost no matter what. Here, I'm covering this much variable cost. I'm ruining my graph here. Covering this much variable cost plus this much fixed cost. So my fixed cost, I got to pay either way. It's like rent, all right? You're going to owe that money whether you're operating or not, all right? I can cover this much, roughly half of my fixed cost, and my loss is this right here. Okay, because that's the cost above my total revenue. All right, but I'm covering roughly half of my fixed cost. All right, fixed cost you have to pay either way. So if you can operate at a smaller loss, all right, in the short run, you don't want to operate at any loss in the long run, short run like a year or so. Um, if you can operate at a smaller loss by operating with marginal cost equals marginal revenue, you should do it but only if you're covering your variable cost, because that means you're paying something towards your fixed cost. Otherwise, your fixed costs are going to be full blown and you're going to eat all of it and it's going to be a bigger loss. So you're better off operating even at a loss if you're covering your variable cost in the short run. Long run, get out of business. All right. Um, one more scenario here. And forgive me, I'm going to have to redraw the whole graph so you're going to see like the whole deal here. Um, yeah. Easiest just to erase everything. Really hope everyone's doing well out there. Miss you guys. Recording this in the spring of uh, 20, if I use this lecture in the future, um, this is how we got around um, the coronavirus. So um, hopefully in the fall, we're all kind of just, you know, shaking our heads at it, moving on with life, right? Um, so let's do marginal cost looks like that. Let's say our price is something like two bucks, all right? Which is very common in competitive markets because you're dealing with things like commodities, agriculture type things are they're typically pretty inexpensive. Um, let's put our marginal revenue there. Keep in mind, that's also our average revenue and our price, okay? Um, this is where we're going to operate. It's not a real high quantity. It's quantity where marginal cost equals marginal revenue. Let's say this is my average total cost. This is my average variable cost. Um, I'm obviously operating at a loss. My revenues are this price times that quantity. Okay, so this little box right here. All right, that's my revenue. All right, price times quantity, total revenue equals price times quantity. So that's the area of that box right there. But if you go on up here, that's my variable cost. That's my total cost, okay? So this big tall box right here is total cost. So here to here is my total cost. This is my, my revenue. So I'm operating at a massive loss, okay? And I'm not covering my variable costs. So every time I produce a unit, okay, my variable cost gets worse and worse. So every time I produce a unit, I'm losing additional money by that amount. Every time I produce something. So if I keep producing out here, this box gets bigger and I'm losing more and more money. Okay. If you find yourself in a hole, okay, financially speaking, the first thing you should do is put down the shovel, all right? And when you are not covering your variable costs in the short run, put down the shovel, all right? So uh, I think I'm going to stop this lecture right here. Hopefully that's enough seeds to help you with the homework. Uh, just remember the squares, you, you know, when you're looking at total revenue, first thing, marginal cost equals marginal revenue. Drop that quantity down, bring it over to price. That square, price and quantity, okay? up to marginal cost equals marginal revenue, that's your total revenue. All right, um, drop a line and wherever it crosses, hopefully you don't have to go up because that's a loss. If you go down, drop a line to average total cost, okay? 
that box, what average total cost is the focal point, is your um, total cost. So you have total cost and total revenue then. So now you can make some decisions. Now, if you had to go up to average total cost, that means you're operating at a loss. Um, that's not, not ideal, but in the short run, that's going to happen. You're going to have big costs up front when you start a business. Um, in the long run, you can't have loss. You should shut down. But in the short run, as long as you're covering that variable cost, like we did on the previous graph, you should keep operating because it minimizes your fixed cost. Okay? Um, if you're not covering your variable cost, put the shovel down, close up. All right? So in the short run, if you're not covering your variable cost, shut down. In the short run, if you are covering your variable cost, keep trying. All right? In the long run, if you got losses, get the heck up out of there. All right? Uh, hope this lecture helped. Um, this went through several graphs in the chapter, um, kind of did uh, figure one, uh, not so much figure two, but uh, jumped into really across to figure four, and then a little bit into, uh, I'm just trying to give you some comparisons here, um, figure five. And then if you would, if you can, if you're doing the reading, you have to do the reading, okay, gang? Um, figure eight very helpful in the homework, okay? Figure eight, very helpful in the homework, all right? That's pretty much the culmination of all the graphs. That's everything put together. So if you can get to that point, um, both with these lectures and also the lectures I posted with the PowerPoint, um, you'll be in a good spot, okay? Um, so that wraps up chapter 14. Much love for you. Uh, if you got any questions, shoot me an email. We'll do the best we can. Uh, set up a call, do whatever we need to do. Um, love you if you got any problems. Take care of yourself, okay?